Hello again. Today I want to show everybody how we can set up a Docker container that we can use as a dashboard. Uh, what we're going to set up is one called home page. So this is pretty simple to do. What we're going to do is what we have now is Portainer up and running. And we have this running on a Rail 9 server running Docker. I've removed Podman from this Rail 9 server and it's running Docker natively now. So let's first come in here and we're going to create a new stack for our management. So we're going to do add new stack and we're going to call it management. We're going to copy a config that I have so it'll go a little faster. So what we're doing is we're installing two Docker containers, one called Docker Proxy. We're pulling it from here. We're going to name it Docker Proxy. In the environment, we're saying allow access to view the containers and disallow any post operations, effectively making it read only. And the ports are 2375. The volume, we need to make a slight change because on my original configuration on my other server, it's running Podman. So I had to point it to podman.sock. So we're going to change this to say docker.sock. Restart and less stopped. Then for home page, we're going to pull this image, as you can see right here, and the container name, we're going to name it home page. And for our ports, 3001 redirecting to internal 3000. I did it with 3001 because on some of my other environments I have Grafana also running and it uses port 3000. So you can actually have your external port to whatever you need it to be. Um, just make note of that. And then our volume right here. This is our local config. We're going to go data slash homepage slash config which maps to the internal of app config. So we, had need, we need to create this first. So we'll just copy this and we'll come into here. I'll make this full screen. Uh, actually, let's go root. We'll log on to the server that we're working on. And there we go. We can go check. All right, so we're there. It's created now. Now that we have that done, we are ready to deploy. So we are just going to come down here and deploy the stack. It's going to download both of those images, so we'll just give that a minute. All right, the stack is deployed. We can look at the containers. Homepage is still starting. All right, homepage says it's healthy. You click on here, it'll take you to the initial configuration. What we just need to do now is you go into your configuration folder and you can set up however you want. Um, this is set for internet searches, so you can search on the internet. You can also have um, um, bookmarks down here to anything you want. I mean, you can configure this exactly how you want. So let me just show you real quick how that's done. So back in here, now you see that you have some YAML files. The first thing we want to edit is our Docker one. So what we're going to use we're going to try this one. So our host is Docker proxy that we created 
and our port is 2375. So we're done with that. Then we're going to go into services. And this is where you can change some things. So we will say, let's set up one for our portainer one. So we'll just set this one up and we'll call this one management. And we'll say portainer. And for here, we'll do ah, type out something. There we go. All right, let's see, um, and it's on 9443. We'll give it a description of Docker container management. Server is my Docker. I believe it was and container let's go check yes it's called portainer And when it's done, we can just write that and come back here. And here we go. And then when you click on it, I know what I did wrong. All right. You just need for this one you need the HTTPS because it's redirecting to a 443 port. So let's close this out. Make sure it's refreshed. And there you go. It takes you straight to your portainer container. So you can configure this however you like. Um, it's we'll go back in here, we can see the different options. There is a widget section, which right now it's getting the resources of the server and the search engine of DuckDuckGo. And then we have um, a settings page where you can um, set up some providers for APIs for weather maps. Um, and then under bookmarks, there you go. This is where you can call them whatever you need. Um, you can go directly to your GitHub. Um, you have you can set up Reddit, YouTube, any other ones you can think of, whatever you would like to have. So you can configure your own basically home page to help you find everything in one centralized location. Um, it also has the option where you can change colors. You just pick one that works well for you and you can switch between day and night mode so um, I like this one particularly um, I think it looks nice um, it integrates with docker so you can see um, what's going here and you can see the CPU memory um, and transmitting and um, receiving of the container Anyway, I hope you found this useful, um, and until next time, we'll see you later. Have a good day.